So here's the dilemma I have. I am working on two different solar bills. One is with this larger battery and a 100 watt solar panel. This is for home use, uh, home emergency use, I should say, to power a small mini fridge or the like during a power outage. And this battery is for camping use, for short camping trips with a 25 watt solar panel. The, the charge controller I have here is a 20 amp MPPT. I do not have a second charge controller that I could use for camping. So I would have this wired in to my battery most of the time to the 100 watt panel. And when I do go camping, I want to take this, unplug it from the battery here and plug it to this battery and to my 25 watt. So I'm trying to figure out how I can do this and make it a bit easier without having to take all the wires off and do some rewiring, have some kind of a quick disconnect. Now, yeah, I could ideally buy another charge controller for about $60, 10 amp charge controller just for camping, true. But I wanted to try and see if I could do something by which I can have a quick disconnect and I can share the charge controller between camping trips and my home emergency use. And I really don't need the two to be charging all the time. So I have an option that I've looked at and I would like to present that to you and get your opinions as well. So here is my wiring solution. These are SAE connectors, 10 gauge wires. There's a fuse here. This would go to my charge controller and this would go to my battery here. Now I would need another one for the camping battery, but I don't need 10 gauge for that. This is a quick disconnect. I would connect this, disconnect this, and go to the other battery. With 10 gauge wires, I do feel this here is a weak point. I did not find anything with 8 gauge that had SAE connectors, and I again think that's because of the SAE connector right here being the weak point. But with a 100 watt solar panel, I think it is fine, but I do want to hear your feedback as well. So please uh, leave me some comments. So anyway, the next step is to get this all wired up and see how it goes. So here you see I have the battery connections done. My camping battery connected to the charge controller. Uh, yeah, not a great setup here. I need to change these. But I can quickly switch over from here to my home battery right here. As long as I don't have my photovoltaic connections on. So I can do the switching around right now. But once I connect my PV, I have to make sure I don't switch it. I'll have to take the PV off and then do the switching. So that's it. That's, that's my connection. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, do leave some feedback and uh, would love a subscribe from you if you like the video. Thank you.